I'm gonna talk about how I got into houseplants. It's not a long story, but it is my story and I'll try to condense it into 60 seconds. In 2016, I was diagnosed with persistent depressive disorder and general anxiety disorder. I hated everything about my life. I didn't wanna be in my life and I was just really stuck. In February of 2017, I was turning 25 and for some random reason, I thought I should get a fish for my birthday and I talked to my mom about it and she said, well, why don't you start with a plant? That seems a lot easier. I went to the store and I got a peace lily. So shout out to my mom for changing the course of my entire life. That first plant taught me a lot about nurturing and caring about something outside of yourself and it really helped me escape what I was feeling and what I was going through at the time. And all of the things that I was learning within plants and plant care, I was able to transfer that to myself, as weird as that sounds. Everything I learned and everything I experienced with houseplants, I knew that I wanted to share with other people so they could have that same experience and community and energy as well. Bitch, you're my soulmate. Hey, no one gives a fuck about what you do. This is my philodendron giganteum, and it is gigantic. And I got this plant a couple of months ago. I got it from a local nursery in Texas and there's actually two pieces so i have this piece and i have another piece that sits on my shelf i didn't realize it was two plants until i went to repot it after a couple of weeks of being in my care and i realized it's two plants split them up and they're growing so quickly and it's like you can't tell they're growing but you just turn around and there's a new leaf and the current leaves are just continuously getting bigger and bigger and bigger I think if you like plants that are easy to care for, green as hell, and it's like a lot of bang for your buck, I would get one of these. I really like them and I think they're really easy to care for. You want to know how you can get rid of spider mites? I'll start with saying prevention is a lot easier than treatment and ways that you can prevent pests or lower the risk of pests can include showering your plants, using systemic treatments, changing the medium that they're in. You can do all of these things ahead of time if you want to find an easier way to prevent it rather than treat it, but let's get into the way that I treat spider mites. First thing you wanna do, isolate, isolate, isolate. Get that fucking plant away from all your other plants because you don't want it to fuck up your entire collection. Next, you're gonna give it an intense hose down. I mean, hose that bitch down. Outside, in the shower, in the sink, hose it all the way down. Next, you can use a diluted mix of rubbing alcohol, insecticidal soap, and Captain Jack's. That's what I use, and I really like it. I put that mix on through a spray bottle. I wipe the leaves down, and then I spray it again, and then I just keep it isolated and keep my eye on that plant. Champion of Mediocre Plants posted a video today wondering where the Thai constellations are from people who purchase them through Walmart from Costa Farms. I'm also wondering where they are, and I have something else to say about that. It seems like within the last week, the pink princess philodendrons at Costa Farm produced that were available for sale, people who bought them already have them. I've seen them in multiple Facebook groups and they're already out, but the people who order Thai constellations still haven't gotten them, I think, because I haven't seen any videos about them or anything on Facebook or anywhere really. I do think somebody who follows me, I wanna say it was Megan because they're in one of my Facebook groups. If it is Megan, I think she purchased and 
I'm wondering if she got it. So Megan, if you see this and you did purchase, comment below, show us your Tide Constellation. And if anybody else has ordered it, where is it? Wondering where the Tide Constellations are. We have an update on the Tide Constellation from Costa Farms from a couple of weeks ago. A shout out to Lashina who messaged this to me on Instagram. Somebody did get their Tycon, and I want to know what you think of this. Hey guys, so here's my long-awaited three-week update on my Monstera elbow cutting. I'm so sorry to those of you who I promised a one-week update. My depression said, bitch, make it a three-week, so. Three weeks ago, I bought this cutting off of Facebook Marketplace. It was listed for 300 I snagged it for 2 The seller was also so nice. It included all of these freebies as well. Anyway, this is what the root looked like. It was really teeny tiny, but I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like now. Here she is in all her glory she is a top cutting look at that insane has all these little offshoots that are like stabilizing it in the rocks i think the seller included the rocks because he was worried about the stability of the stem during travel and i just kept them in because they look pretty but now they are stuck to the root but i am starting to get a little worried because this is super skinny and if this keeps growing at the rate that it is like oh my god look at that i'm gonna have to break this glass and i don't want to have to do that so let's change it out together this guy wants to be included say hi Oh, you little good boy. Says, hi everybody, I'm Miles and I bite people. This is the new jar. Okay, okay. This is the root after three weeks. Some of those rocks are stuck on there, but I am definitely gonna leave them. We recently had two hurricanes hit us and that caused everyone to panic buy all the water from the grocery store So I haven't been able to find any distilled water. I'm gonna reuse the water that the cutting was already sitting in Ta-da! There she is in her new job. Now I just need to know when is the right time to put her in a pot? You are my sunshine My only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, dear, how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Hey everyone, I just want to come on and say thank you to the plant community. Everyone has been so kind Eve offering cuttings, like sending them over here. Um, I, this is why the plant community is the best. And I want to share my journey with you guys. This is my apartment. Look at those windows. And I have one single Calathea. So it's officially day five of being in San Francisco. I got new slippers. But my apartment still has nothing. I did, however, get this, and found this, and these two Hoyas that are on an Amazon box. That's the plant stand. This is where I went to get these plants.
He can't take care of you like this Now you're lost Lost in the heat of it all Girl, I know you're lost You can do it so badly. I've been a new growth points coming out of the